All right, let's see if we can do this in one take. Hello everybody, my name is Aaron. This is my top five beginner bike list for if you're looking to get into riding. And you're watching Pones Jones. So this list is targeted at the super beginner bike, the first thing you're gonna get on. There are bikes that you upgrade to, that's not the ones I'm talking about. I'm talking about the very first beginning beginners. We are doing another giveaway this episode. Uh, I'm gonna give a couple of these away, which are waterproof windshield decals. If you want one of these, make sure you stay tuned. We'll show you how to get one. Here's my take on beginner bikes. Always buy a used one. Never buy a new one. They cost way too much. They get right up there in cost, right next to, let's say a 600, which most people wanna end up at anyways. Let somebody else be the idiot that spends way too much on their beginner bike. Having said that, let's get started. This is number five on our list of top five beginner bikes. In the number five spot is the CBR 300R. This is a single cylinder, fuel injected sport bike. It is a bit newer, so the cost is gonna be up there. It does have ABS, and the model I was looking at is $48, $4,900 right out of the gate. It is a single cylinder. That means it has a little bit more torque on the lower end as opposed to a dual cylinder. It does have 37 more cc, so it caps out at 286. They just call it a 300, I guess, to bridge the gap for you. It does have a new exhaust. It has four valves per that one piston, and it boasts a 17% increase in power over the 250 version. There is a CBR 250, didn't make the list because this one's cooler. I say if you're a Honda fan, go for it. I hear great things about it and it's fuel injected. Number four, we actually have a cruiser making the list here. Yamaha V-Star 250. It is a V-twin and it looks a lot like a bigger bike. You could ride this around and no one would really know that you're riding a beginner bike. It is the only bike in its class that has a V-twin and it's 27 inches to that seat. So you get a good size beginner bike. The bike has 249 cc's to put you around town and apparently it's got a pretty good ride. This bike is relatively inexpensive, new at around $4,500. I'm not big into cruisers, but I'd be willing to give this one a try, that's for sure. Number three is the Kawasaki Ninja 300. This guy is a two cylinder, 300 cc engine. This bike is pretty notorious for being the best beginner bike. You can get into a Ninja 300 for around 53, 5,200 bucks. This bike looks exactly like a 600 or a 1000. So putting around, people don't really know that you're on a beginner bike. And they did some cool stuff with the transmission. The transmission is set up. If you accidentally down select a gear too quickly, the transmission is very forgiving and that's good for beginners. It's fuel injected and the thing goes. I happen to have one and it can pick up pretty quick. Number two, this bike has left me questioning my most sacred inner beliefs. It is the Honda Grom. This little guy is freaking awesome. This bike is for the beginner. It is lightweight. It scoots around like crazy. It is only sporting a 125cc engine. It is for bombing around town. It is extremely small, so you can get shorter people on there, mainly the ladies. It's a lot more affordable at around $3,000, which gets a lot more people on the bike. The cool thing about it is you can get it as a secondary. I know a few people who are into big bikes, 900s, 1000s, and they get one of these Groms and they bomb around on it. If you don't take yourself super seriously, you can have a lot of fun on this thing, especially if you don't want to take the heavy, hard to throw around, bigger bike out for a little ride on the town. I found myself on more than one occasion questioning whether I should get this bike or not, simply because it's super affordable, and if you can find a used one, you're gonna get into it for a lot less money. Number one on the list, a bike I wish I had ridden, is the KTM Duke 390. This thing has 373 cc's. It is a good looking bike, very unique. Nothing out there like it right now. Bomb around on this puppy for around $5,000. Apparently it's got a ton of torque, so you can be popping wheelies all day long. They call it a hooligan bike. It does have a smaller gas tank, but near 400 cc's, this thing can haul. KTM has been known for their dirt bikes, and I feel like they've taken that dirt bike feel and thrown it on the road. This is definitely a bike I wanna try. I was staring at this thing and thinking, mm, Mm, if this was out three years earlier, I'd be all over this. If you want one of these decals, make sure you put the words I'm in down in the comments section. Tell me which bike you started on, and if you got one of these, 
where would you put it? All right, guys, thank you for watching. It was super fun researching this kind of stuff. Let me know if I missed a bike that you think should be in the top. Don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. I've got some other cool stuff coming down the line, so check out the channel. Got vlogs and all that stuff over there. We'll see you next time. Ciao. We're gonna do another giveaway this video. Make sure you stay tuned. We'll show you how to get one. These little, uh, these waterproof windshield decals. These waterproof windshield decals. Apparently they're really awesome. Is it upside down? It's totally upside down. <laughs> We're doing another giveaway this.